everyone welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to june's wrap up coming to you sometime in july per usual um so if you guys are new we're just gonna kind of talk about everything that i watched in the month of july new old rewatches first time watches all that other good stuff anything that i did review will be down in the description box if you like to get more well usually just after the theater like reaction videos but if you want to see how my after the theater reaction there they'll be down below but as always we're going to start off with rewatches and it will do first time watches where um in the first time watch it's like anything that's old and nor anything that came out in 2023 but that was in June 2023 and then we'll get to the June 2023 like new releases first up is going to be 50 shades the trilogy we're just gonna go ahead and talk about all three of them versus like ranking them all individually um I'm in my smut area y'all I, I don't think I can see it but I have a smut uh sticker over here it says touch her and I'll kill you y'all don't follow me on tiktok Follow me on TikTok. That's kind of where I'm starting to talk about books. Dirty books. Well, not just dirty books. Yeah, I just like books in general. But most of them are like smut books. Because I'm in my smut area. I'm usually like a thriller gal. gal. And I've done like romance. But then like, I got into dark romance. And I don't want to get at it. Y'all, yeah, it's, it's something else, y'all. Okay, like Christian Grey compared to this. Like, Christian Grey is like PG. Christian Grey at this point in my life is like Christian who? No, he's like the XXX that we don't even care about anymore. Are they the greatest? No. Do I still enjoy them? Yeah, it kind of falls within like the Twilight deal. It's like they're not the greatest, but I still love them. They still have a place in my heart. It's just a feel-good movie. Then we have Unleashed. I have not seen this movie in years. His uncle uh, basically has him living as an animal it's like you're my killing machine whenever he has the collar on he's very like obedient very he doesn't see react to anything removes the collar and it's like kill him and if he goes bah, 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 does martial arts shit and like kills him boom if you love martial arts love you some gently this could be if you love a good cheesy 2000s movie this might be one for you he meets morgan freeman which i'm not even gonna lie totally forgot he was part of the movie but there he is i was watching the movie and i'm just like huh you look awfully familiar young lady like who are you and then it's like oh shit carrie condon i i love it i it's a it's a movie that i just love we have the guardian it's another movie that i was just like oh you know what i kind of i don't want to watch you i haven't seen you in a hot minute we have ashton kutcher who is going into this um uh, rescue swimmer situation because he was the best swimmer in high school but he really just wants to go in and ultimately beat all the records that is Kevin Costner because he's like the lead guy the main guy and he had an accident now he's like a teacher teaching all these people um to become rescue swimmers because they're the best and yeah it's just it's just a movie it's another like pretty feel good movie John Wick chapter four I bought the movie y'all I, that's how much I love the movie the movie yes because I bought it if you guys are new you're probably like what, what do you mean you're a movie channel yeah but I don't do a lot of like movie purchasing you know it's one of my favorite movies of the year so it's gonna go over here under favorite we're kicking ass then we're gonna move on to first time watches so up next we as you can see we have Mission Impossible 1 and 2 I honestly honestly I thought I had seen all the Mission Impossibles but then I was like oh no I hadn't I started watching Mission Impossible from 4. Let me tell y'all what happened before I get to like how I feel about it. It was a Saturday we had gone to Fan Expo in the morning late morning it was packed it was hot there's too many people we went for about an hour we left and we got some food and it looked like it was gonna rain and I said oh it's like rainy weather let's just get some food come back have a marathon what are we gonna watch I don't know Harry Potter Twilight I don't know and then I was like you know what Mission Impossible is about to come out let's do Mission Impossible marathon so somebody called me out there like you saw like two movies second movie didn't finish till 10 o'clock at night like 10 30 we were so tired when I tell you we were so tired because we wanted to go to sleep pretty much as soon as we got home and we're just like but it's still light outside we can go. it's too early let's watch the movies so that's where we were in the mindset when we started mission impossible okay i didn't like them y'all <laughs> i'm gonna see first part 
I don't even remember the movie. I just saw it last month and I don't remember the movie. I just, it was okay. We're gonna say it was okay, y'all. As you can tell, we have a new tier here called Smooth. <laughs> And that's where I'm going to put in my two because I fell asleep. I fell asleep. When I tell y'all, I was like this, trying to watch the movie. It is what it is. One and two weren't for me. And it was already 10, so we didn't see part three. But let me just say from four on, I love them all. And we have the first Wives Club. Um, This movie I actually ended up watching for a board game related video that I did. You guys I knew I, I do board game related content as well. Not really a lot of content, it's just like wrap ups, but I do plan on doing other things um coming up. Hopefully before the end of the year, I'll do some other, other board game related things. Y'all, this movie was so good. <laughs> it was so funny. I absolutely loved it, uh, but I'm actually like gonna put it under awesome. It was, it was just like a perfect comedy movie with an amazing cast. And it's, I mean, there, yes, there are a lot of outdated things about the movie, of course, because it was done like so way back. But other than that, the story, the cast, the everything, you guys, everything was so good. Like it literally still had me like laughing out loud. Then we have Blackberry. And Blackberry is based off of a true story, the rise and fall of the Blackberry. Did any of y'all have a Blackberry? Some of y'all are probably like, the hell is a blackberry it was a phone y'all that had like a whole keyboard like actually on the phone i temporarily had a um a blackberry my older sister let me borrow hers when i was kind of like in between phones and i'm like i really kind of want a blackberry she goes why well, have this old blackberry like if you want to try it out and i only had it for like a month i think and then i hated it i hate it well also i don't think it worked very well i think the little um I think it might have been like one of the, that last phone that pretty much killed them when they sent it off to China. Because I feel like stuff wasn't working very well when I was using it. And or it was just because like it was an old phone and it wasn't working right. But yeah, it was just the rise and the fall of the Blackberry. It was really interesting because it was like a true story that kind of happened. Well, that, that, that kind of. But did happen during my lifetime. And, you know, Apple came around and pretty much like took them off the market and murdered them. It was an honorable mention. And, uh, but I'm going to put it under awesome. Well, you know what? Honorable mention. That's like almost favorite, right? I'm going to go ahead and just put it under a favorite. Because that's pretty close. I, I think it might have been like number 11 or number 12 on my list, to be honest with you. But we're just going to go ahead and put it under favorite. Then we have How to Blow Up a Pipeline. This one, if you did see um, my favorite movies of the year, I have it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and go up and put it up there under favorites. I absolutely love this movie i honestly didn't think i would love it as much as i did it's just a movie uh about how to a pipeline they're literally blowing up a pipeline and it's just a bunch of activists that just pretty much have had it with these chemical production companies oil companies and they're just trying to prove a point because you know they've just done so much damage to the environment to people's health to people's lands and it's a great great movie I mean it's a movie that's just like here it's not too much kind of happening so then we have reality and this one is also based on a true story and this one is about reality I don't remember her last name but basically she was working with the government and she was kind of trying to get into going to Laguistance or whatever but she was kind of finding articles and things like kind of putting her nose in place that she didn't need to be and just kind of everything that was kind of going on in the news and articles that she was finding just kind of really made her upset and just think that were happening in her life and ultimately ended up printing some papers that she shouldn't have printed out and ended up mailing it out to the newspaper who then released the information so you know the fbi cia whoever is coming out investigating and this is just one of those movies that pretty much ends up taking place in one location kind of think about it like mass from was it like a year ago two years ago which is also a great great movie i haven't seen it but we're pretty much like in this like empty room in her house the spare room there's actually like nothing in the room they're just pretty much well there's like some shelves i think but they're standing up the whole time they're just doing like an invest uh an investigation yeah like uh questioning there uh, we do start off like you know in her front yard kind of go inside but ultimately the most most of the movie is taking place in this one room we have some flashbacks and stuff uh, but yeah it's a really actually a pretty um 
pretty good movie, a pretty great movie. I'm gonna say it was a great movie. I really, really enjoyed it. If you saw Mass and you were not a fan of that movie, I don't think you'll be a fan of this. Mind you, Mass, obviously the topic of that, which was like ch of, of the shootings, uh, for school shootings, just kind of like the, the parents of the victim and the shooter. It's like that one is more like intense versus this one. Like that one is way more emotional. Uh, this one is just like a political deal. So up next we have The Wrath of Becky. And honestly, I didn't even realize this movie was coming out until I saw it on my um, AMC like app. And I go, wait, hold on, we got a sequel. It's one of those movies that we didn't need a sequel. But like, I'm happy we got it because we get to see where she is now in life. And she's 16 years old now. She's still with Diego. She is living with this lady who kind of ended up not really rescuing her, but really helped her out because Becky was just kind of escaping foster parents, foster families, whatever, and just kind of like roaming around doing doing her, you know. She's still like having psychotic, well, she wasn't having those psychotic deals in the first part, you know. It was just, she had anger issues, but then like they killed her papa and like murder rate well not just they just gonna they killed her dog first and then they killed her papa and then like anger and rage infuriated her and then she killed everybody the first part is definitely more bloodier the kills are way better in the first one but they were still pretty good kills here it was a pretty great movie i definitely loved the first one better it was still a good sequel and we have are you there god it's me margaret and let me just go ahead and put it over here because if you again if you saw my uh, favorites of the year so far it is a favorite movie of the year it's another one that i didn't expect to love as much it's a great great coming of each story finding yourself we're talking about peers we're talking about first crushes uh we're talking about religion like finding which religion works best for you um uh, but it's set in the 70s so it's like very pure there's no like toxic social media nothing like the shit for today it's very like oh we're gonna go play outside in the front yard going through the sprinklers kind of situation really great cast um and i loved it i absolutely loved it then we're going to what came out in june 2023 and we're gonna start off with flaming hot this is based on a true story it is a hulu original and it's the story of the flaming hot cheeto like how that came to be and it came to be from a janitor a janitor who wanted more from life a janitor who wanted to learn a janitor who fought his way really to make this damn cheeto because he wanted to help frito-lay they didn't want to give him the time of day i mean years and years passed he wanted to become more than a janitor but being in this corporate world not having really an education or well, not really not having an education and just trying to like level up and then being Mexican they didn't want to level him up just like the engineer who's a self-taught engineer who taught these other people what they're doing and everybody else leveled up except for him because he was black and the other people were white it's not like a great great movie you guys but I really really love the movie I don't know if it was because of the representation, but uh, it really spoke to me. It made me cry. The Blackening. I love this movie. I love, love, love this movie. This definitely gives you like scary movie vibes. We're taking chances. We're taking risks. We have a great cast. We have raunchy comedy, which is what I love. It's just like, yes, can we get more of this? Fuck the delicate ass people. Death Gas people don't have to watch this. Don't watch it. Let the good ass comedy come back into our lives because the comedy shit that we've been getting now sucks. And it's it, it's so because I love love comedy and it's just like oh it's just such such a shame that we can't get movies like like these anymore because people get their damn feelings hurt. But this is a great great movie i'm gonna go ahead and put it under my favorites it uh it was also i believe an honorable mention it kind of has like what cabin in the woods saw situations kind of happening then we have the flash and again i'm just gonna go ahead and put it up here favorite of the year regards the controversy regardless of the cgi regardless of whatever i had a really good time with it and we kind of go into like this multiverse situation and uh yeah i mean were there things wrong with it yeah of course but i didn't care i honestly didn't care and then we got the spider-man across the spider-verse and again 
favorite movie, not just favorite, but favorite movie of the year so far, right? What well, let's go ahead and put that out here on the very front of this tier because it's a favorite of the year. Um, it's Spider Man, y'all. Whoa. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, look, he's right there. Great, great animation, great story. I loved it, looks, sounds amazing. Last one, Netflix, Extraction Part 2. This is another one that we didn't even need a freaking sequel because as far as we were aware, he died in the first one. But no, no, we, we brought him back to life in Part 2. Part one, I was not a fan of. I do have a review on, on part one. I meant to review part two, but, you know, things happen. This was very, very surprisingly good. It really, this is one of those where the sequel surpasses the original one. I love the story way more. Yeah, I mean, overall, we're just gonna go ahead and put it over here because my battery's about to die. I, I thought it was a pretty great movie. Action, great. It took it a minute to kind of get there, but overall, I loved it. Uh, but battery's about to die. This is what I watched in the month of June. Let me know down below. Did you watch any of the same things? What did you think about where I ranked it? If you agree, great. If you don't, that's fine. If you haven't already, give this video a like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions.